Okay, picking up from where we left off in the last clip, we've kind of done the Hello Web example. Uh, I want to move on quickly now. That was just kind of a, a primer, uh, but we're not really going to use that for our guest book. Uh, I just wanted to show that you could do manual installation, but now what I'm going to do is make a new uh, module, and we'll call it guest book. And we'll show how to install it using the Mojo Portal installation system. And we'll go through the quick generation um, with Codesmith. And I think what I did wrong last time was I put the word module here and that made it double up. Um, and we'll just generate that now. And we'll grab our markup part first. We'll go back into Visual Studio. And we'll paste that in here. And then we'll go back to CodeSmith and we'll grab the code behind. Come back into Visual Studio. And let's see again, we're not using log for net. We haven't yet created a business project. So we will just comment that out for now. And uh, let's see, we we'll just want to make sure that this will build. And it does. And we should see that it, the post build event uh, copied it up here. If we refresh this folder, and there it is. But we want to avoid that manual installation step. So what we want to do is go back to the file system and in our Acme projects, Acme Web UI, we want to create a new folder called Setup. And below that, we want a new folder, Applications. And then below that, we will have a new folder, just book. And in there, we will create a new folder, uh, feature definitions. Oops, I misspelled that. And we'll add another new folder. Or I'm not going to use it yet, but we might, we're going to need this later. Schema install scripts. And we'll have a final folder there for student. Oops, what did I do? Schema upgrade. Okay, now we need a feature definition file, and what we will do is we'll just copy one from uh, modulepoint.web. It's module core. We will get this one for the HTML module, and we'll copy it up here, and we'll rename it. And now we'll edit this with a text editor. And you'll note that when we generated our, our guest book, it created for us a feature GUID. It's important that your feature have a unique GUID and it should stay the same across installations. So we define the feature GUID here. And we're going to say what databases are supported. Uh, for now, we'll just say Microsoft SQL Server. And now we want to define a uh, resource file for localizing uh, labels. So let's go ahead and add to our project a special folder, ASP.NET folder called App Global Resources. 
And then when we right click that folder and say add new item, it knows that resource file is what we should have. So we'll call it guest book resources. And then we'll just go ahead and put in there a key feature name value guest book. And then when we go back and look in our thing here, we'll just call this yes oops, resources. And we'll just shorten this down to feature name. And we tell it the control source is guest book guest book module. That's the name of it. Or no, it's not. It's actually just called guestbook.scx. Okay, um, cacheable. We'll say true for now. Searchable, false. We have implemented a little search. And so we'll leave this blank. And now we want to chop out, these are all settings for the HTML module. We'll chop these out for now and we'll see about adding some settings later. For now, all we need is to define the feature, create this file, and then we have to add into our post build event the part about copying the set folder. So again, we can borrow a little line from the post build event of say webstore.ui we just look for the part that's getting the setup folder and we copy that. Oh yes, actually we want that app global resources part too, so we'll go ahead and get both of those. We'll close that and so we'll go back in here, we'll paste that in. That means our setup folder will get copied up to the setup folder in MojoGlobal.web. And now, when we build, it should do that. And if we go back to our browser, assuming that the web server hasn't stalled and stopped running while well, we've been doing this, we'll click around first to make sure it's working. The next thing we want to do is visit the setup page. And we'll see that it did a line for guestbook here. So we didn't have to install it manually, but now we can go back to our test page and we'll say edit this page. And let's drop the hello off the page. We don't need that anymore. And let's see, guestbook is at the top of the list. So we'll just say guestbook for the name of it. Add it to the page, we do the page, and now we're back where we started. We've got our initial guestbook book, it's on the page. We'll continue in the next clip, and that's it for this one.